enter your Pilates slide class. This is an express version. So instead of total body, we're just gonna focus on core and upper body. We're gonna incorporate a resistance band loop. If you have a set of different weights, I'm using a medium band today. And then you're also going to need a dish towel. We'll use it both for some sliding work and we'll use it as a prop behind our head. So if you're on carpet, you're gonna to need to use something else for your sliders, paper plates work well. Um, but even if you're not using a dish towel for your slider, have one on hand for the beginning part of our core work. If you're new to Pilates slide classes, these mix Pilates mat work with some sliding sequences. Similar to a Pilates mat class, it flows one thing into the next, into the next. At any point, if you need to pause though, you can always stop the video and take breaks as needed. Today, we're not gonna do a ton of sliding work, actually. We're really just gonna do it towards the end. When we get to the sliding work, I'll flip my mat out of the way, but for the first good chunk of class, I'm just gonna have my mat regular and we'll be doing mat work with the band and the towel. We're gonna start class with a quick guided warm up, and we'll finish up with a quick cool down the warm up will kind of bring us right into the start of our core work. And I'll verbally guide you through what we're going to do, but just so you have a little roadmap of the direction class is going, we'll do warm up into flexion based core work. So we'll be down on the mat, laying on our back. The band is going to be around our feet. We're going to have the towel behind our head. From there, we are going to come into some kneeling banded work focused on the triceps. And that takes us into some bare plank work, mixing again, triceps, adding in a little bit more of a core challenge. We do that on one side and then we'll do it on the other side. We finish up with some sliding plank based work, adding in some push up and prone work. To start, you don't need the band or the towel, but you'll want them within easy reach. And let's just find a comfortable cross-legged position. We're gonna just do a uh, fluid side bend to start. So you can tent your fingertips one to either side, one arm sweeps up, side bend over, and then just take it up and over. So just getting things moving. One more each side. And then I want you to bring your hands in front of you. I want you to inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, I want you to start to nod the chin and start to roll down and forward vertebrae by vertebrae, walking your hands forward. Now we're not really hinging at the hips where it's kind of like we're rounding up and over something. When you're as low as you can go, we're just going to take a few deep breaths with every inhale. I want you to focus on expanding into your mid back area. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. So we're looking for that 3D expansion of the diaphragm. Inhale, final exhale, and then walk your hands in, stack your spine back up tall. From here, I want you to take your left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm reaches forward, and we're just gonna twist open. On an inhale, twist it open to the right, and then come back. You can kind of use this left hand for a little more traction in that twist. And next time you twist open, I want you to hold the twist open. We're just going to trace circles with that back arm. I'm bending the elbow so I don't hit my couch. You could do it with a straight arm though. So think of sitting up nice and tall, mobilizing through that shoulder joint and just switch direction of your circles. Two more. And let's do that same thing other side. So take your right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm reaches forward and we twist it open to the left. You're mirroring me. <sighs> twist is coming from your mid spine. So the spine twists, the arm just follows. <sighs> Next time you twist open, hold that open twist. <sighs> and let's trace some arm circles, mobilizing through the shoulder joint. <sighs> Switch direction of the circles. One more, and then I want you to come through center. You're gonna plant your feet in front of you and vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna roll yourself down to the mat. Keep your knees bent, feet flat. Just one more thing in this warm up. We are going to do a hip roll just to get some hip extension before we come into our flexion based core work. So you're gonna to inhale to prepare. And then as you exhale, we're gonna to start to roll the hip bones towards our bottom ribs, almost like we're tucking under, press the feet down into the floor, fire through the seat and peel the spine up vertebrae by vertebrae into this long hip bridge. Stay for an inhale. And exhale, melt the spine back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming through a neutral pelvis. Twice more, inhale to prepare. Exhale, start to roll the hips towards you, fire through the glutes, 
peel it up into that glute bridge. Stay for a breath. On your next exhale, roll it down. Come through neutral pelvis. Last time, inhale to prepare on the exhale, roll up. And just stay for a couple breaths. So we're gonna grab our band, it's gonna go around the arches of our feet. We're gonna grab our dish towel, it's gonna go behind our head, kind of at the base of the skull in three, two, one. Roll the spine back down. Okay, so we're gonna grab the band and our towel. I'm actually just gonna spin around. Band is gonna go around the arches of your feet and then your towel should be long and we're gonna grip the ends of it, okay? And then we're just gonna lay back down. Now, for the positioning of this towel, Think about when we're doing core work and we have our hands behind our head providing support. We're basically gonna provide that support, but with the towel. So it's right at the base of your skull. And then from here, I want you to wrap the elbows inward. So we're kind of active through this armpit area as well, okay? So the upper body, you will feel a burn here holding the towel like this. Now, let's bring our knees up to tabletop. So make sure you're neutral to the pelvis. You have that natural curve to the low back, but you're not letting it peel up to the ceiling. And we're gonna, bring the knees up to tabletop. And then we find our ab curl position. So on your next exhale, nod the chin, lift up, hold the ab curl. Now maintaining this ab curl position, we're just going to extend one leg out at a time. So on your next exhale, I want you to press that right leg forward, left leg stays exactly as it is. Bring it back into tabletop over to the other side. So we'll gradually build up the intensity in this. So there should be no strain in your neck, all right? Your arms are doing the work to support your neck. Now all we're gonna do up next is both legs are gonna extend out and in together. If that is too much slow, I want you to continue alternating. Otherwise, on your next exhale, both go out together. Only as low as a hover as you can without arching your low back up to the ceiling. So start by pressing them up at like a 45 degree angle and then only go lower if possible. Maintain that ab curl. Gentle press out on the band. Now we're gonna turn this into a combo. We're gonna press the legs out just like we're doing, and then the straight legs are gonna lift up to the ceiling, and then we'll bend them back to start. So it's almost like a pedaling motion. Let's do that. So on your next exhale, you're gonna press the legs out. You're gonna lift them up to the ceiling. You're gonna bend the knees back to tabletop. You extend out, lift up, bend to start. Keep that going. Don't rush it like I just did. <laughs> One more and then we switch direction. And pause and tabletop. All right, now we're just gonna reverse it. So you're gonna start by straightening those legs up to the ceiling. You're gonna lower those legs to a hover. You're gonna pull the knees back into tabletop. We kick them straight. We lower to our hover. We bend them in. Make sure you're breathing. Last time. Bend to tabletop. Kick the legs straight and then hold those legs straight. I want a little press out on the band. It's a pulse through the legs out out, you're in this ab curl position, gazes at your knees, neutral to the spine. If you're tight through the hamstrings, add a little bend to the knees for me. Now to finish this up, you're gonna ditch the towel, okay? You'll just drop it, but you're gonna stay in your ab curl. We're gonna hold out on the band, cherry pickers. In three, two, hold out on the band, just drop the towel, cherry pickers. So opposite hand towards opposite foot, side to side, you got this. Four, three, two, one, and bend the knees, lower the head to the mat, plant your feet down, and you can just windshield wiper those knees side to side. So we're gonna go through that same sequence just one more time, and then we switch it up. So you'll notice having the towel in that position, your arms really have to work. All right. Grab the ends of the towel and then wrap your elbows forward. Towel's at the base of your skull. Make sure you're neutral through the spine. And then we're gonna bring our knees on an exhale up to tabletop, pressing gently out on the band. And on your next exhale, 
we come into our ab curl position. <sighs> Let's start by alternating one leg presses out back to tabletop and then over to the other side. One more each side, then we go both together. Both together to modify, keep alternating. Make sure you're staying in that ab curl position so your upper shoulder blades are not on the mat. This towel trick with ab curl work, I got the idea for it from an awesome Pilates instructor, Kara Duval, by the way. Give her credit for this one where it is due. I love it. It provides such a different challenge for the upper body while supporting the neck. We're going to take it to that combo, that pedaling motion. So next time you press those legs straight, pause, lift them up to the ceiling, bend them back to 90. You press to a hover, you lift to the ceiling, you bend. Use your breath to connect to that abdominal wall. Last time. Meet me at tabletop and pause. Can you curl up a little higher? Let's reverse direction. You straighten the legs to the ceiling. You lower them to a hover. You bend the knees back in. Only lower them as low as you can, maintaining that supported spine position. We're gonna hold at the top up next. We're gonna pulse out on that band. If you want more of an abdominal challenge, you're gonna hold the legs at a slight hover instead of straight up to the ceiling. Final rep here, lower. Bend the knees in, kick those legs straight, hold, maybe drop them a couple inches, ab curl position, pulse out on that band. Don't hold your breath. We're gonna drop the towel. We're gonna hold out against that band. Cherry pickers, opposite hand to opposite foot. In four, three, two, one. Hold tension on the band, drop the towel. Feet up to the ceiling. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Can you touch your toes? Maybe the answer is yes. Maybe it's no, that is okay too. I just really want you curling up. Almost done with this core work on our backs. Give me eight seven, six, five, whoo, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, ditch the band. You can take it off of your feet. Whoo, let's take a full body stretch quickly. So our legs reach out, arms reach overhead. And then bringing one hand behind your thigh. You're gonna roll yourself up to seated. We're gonna grab our band. We're gonna come into some tricep work with the band mixed in with some bear plank work. We don't need the glider for this next part. We're just gonna use our band and do some body weight work. So we're gonna do tricep kickback variations. And just to show you this setup straight on so you can see, one hand is going to anchor the band to your shoulder and then the other side will do the tricep kick, okay? So to start, we're gonna find a hinge position so you break at the hips, you're leaning forward. I want you to take your left hand and anchor the band to your right shoulder and we're gonna start with tricep kickbacks on the right. And I want you to grip the band so that your palm is facing back to start, okay? Actually, let me move my mic. So we're open across the collarbones. We're gonna do this without rolling the shoulders forward. Reach the tailbone back and we do tricep kickbacks. Again, palm faces back behind you. You're keeping the elbow and tight to the sides of your body, side of your body. So pretty simple with this banded work. Triceps get a lot of love, okay, in this series. Coming up next, you're just gonna hold that arm back. It's the same movement, but we make it really small, so it's just a little bend and press. Four more. Three. Two. Next time back, hold. Now from here, little bend and stretch. Bend the elbow, reach it long. Bend, reach. It's a little pulse. Palm is kind of facing up to the ceiling. Bend it small, reach. Reach it long. Brought across those collarbones. 
Now we're going to go back to a full range tricep kickback up next, but we're just going to do a slightly different rotation. Palm is going to face in towards your body in three. Bend stretch for two. Last time, one. Now rotate palm in towards your body and we bend the elbow, bringing the fist all the way forward and back. In and back. Almost done with the band on this side, okay? We have one more round of that bend stretch. And then we drop the band, hands come to the mat. We'll be in a bare plank position. Hold the arm back in three, two, one. Hold that arm back, little bend stretch. Bend, stretch it long. Burn it out, you're almost done. We're gonna drop the band, hands are gonna come down to the mat. Four, bend stretch for three, two, one, put the band off to the side. So plant your hands down on the mat under your shoulders. I want you to wrap your triceps back, okay? So your elbow creases point straight forward, pointy part of your elbow bones point straight back. To modify, keep your knees down. Otherwise, tuck your toes under and on an exhale, you're gonna lift those knees to a one inch hover. We're gonna come into little tricep dips. So you bend the elbows in and press. We're gonna take this into a combo pretty shortly. It'll be one of these little tricep dips. And again, to modify knees, stay down, okay? It'll be one of these little tricep dips. And then we will do a shoulder tap. It will be your left hand tapping your right shoulder so that your right arm is working to support you since it is the focus. So let's add it in. One tricep dip. Now take that left hand and on an exhale, bring it to tap your right shoulder. Replace it. One tricep press. It's small. Left hand to right shoulder. Four more. Two more. Now this time you're just going to hold that shoulder tap. So bring your left hand to your right shoulder hold. Maybe you stay here. If you're up for the challenge though, you're going to take your right leg and you're going to extend it back to a hover. So it's opposite hand, opposite foot on the mat. Hold for four, three, level those hips, two, and one. Knees come down, hands come down. Whew. Just swing those arms forward and back. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. So grab your band. I'll just turn to face the other direction. So now your right hand is going to anchor the band to your left shoulder, and we'll do tricep kickbacks on the left. To start, your palm is going to face back behind you, okay? Let's go, full range to start. So don't just think about working as you extend the arm back. Think of resisting it forward so you're not just slingshotting it in. We have that bend and stretch coming up next. He'll kick that arm back straight in four, three, two. Next time back, hold it back. Maybe lift it up a smidge higher, okay? Open across the collarbones. Bend, reach the arm long. A little softening of the elbow, punch that fist back. Bend, stretch, you got it. Bend, stretch. We're gonna go back to full range. Palm will face in towards your body. And you can always drop to a lighter resistance band, okay? Or do it body weight, or do it holding a light hand weight. Four, bend stretch for three, hold in two, hold. Rotate palm in towards your body, and now go back to the full range kick back. We have one more round of bend and stretching to get through in four. Hold back in three, two. Next time back, hold. Little bend and stretch to finish. Soften through the elbow, punch that fist back. You got it, we're done with the resistance band after this. Ooh. Almost there, four. Bend stretch for three, two. One, 
oh, ditch the band. All right, spread out through the fingers, plant them down on the mat. Wrap the triceps back so the creases of your, your elbows point forward so that when we do those uh, dips, elbows go straight back to the knees. So you can keep your knees down, or if you're up for the challenge, you tuck your toes under on an exhale, you come to that bare plank position. Start with just that little tricep dip, it's small. Whew, I am shaky. I'm actually gonna do this first part with my knees down. No shame in taking the modification. Elbows back, press. Now coming up next, we take it into that combo. It'll be one tricep dip, and then we will tap right hand to left shoulder. So your left hand is staying down for support. Let's take it to the combo. I'm gonna to come to my bare plank for it. One tricep dip, right hand taps left shoulder. Replace it, little dip, elbows shoot back. When you tap, when you do the shoulder tap, try not to rock the hips. Three more. Get ready to hold the shoulder tap. One tricep dip, right hand to left shoulder. Now maybe you take that left leg and reach it long. Woo! Level off through the hips, breathe. Four, three, two, one, hands down, knees down. Oh my God, so shaky. Take a quick child's pose and then put the elbows down, bend them, hands together, and kind of like you're tapping your back, just bend at the elbows. All right, we have one more section of this class, okay? We're gonna mix in some sliding. So we'll have some sliding plank work, push-up work, prone work. I'm just going to flip my mat. You don't really have to flip it. You just need a little space at the end for doing the sliding work but oh well, I'll just go like this. And we don't need our resistance band anymore. We are done with that. So both feet are going to be on the glider. So if you're using a towel, I'm just gonna have it long so, that my, so both feet can fit on it. So we're gonna start with a plank to pike. So in a plank position, hips will lift and lower. We'll then add in a push up. We'll then lower down to our stomach for a little bit of prone work, okay? So spread out through those fingers, hands under shoulders, press the mat away. So you kind of fill the space between your shoulder blades a little bit so that you're really supported through that shoulders. I'm gonna do this with my legs together, reaching them long, keeping the heels lifted. We're gonna pike the hips up and lower them down. Now I know after that bare plank work, your arms might be feeling a little shaky. Know that this plank push-up work is pretty quick, okay? And we have those breaks down in a prone position. Now, all we're gonna do is layer in a push-up. We just do it four times, okay? So let's add it in one pike, hips up and down. Give me one push-up, elbows back at a 45 degree angle. Just three more. Last time. And on this push up with control, you're gonna lower yourself all the way down to the mat. And I want you to untuck your toes. And I want you to bend the elbows, bringing them out to your side, kind of in a goal post position. So we're gonna do an extension. You're going to lift up through that upper body. And as you do, you're gonna think of retracting the shoulder blades, okay? And then you lower down, nose taps the mat. So you're pressing the tops of your legs down into the floor. And we're staying really engaged through the core. So the lift is kind of coming from your mid back, right under the shoulder blades not so much the low back. <sighs> now to modify these, keep your forearms down on the floor, okay? And just lift through that mid and upper spine, <sighs> kind of almost like a sphinx pose, pose. excuse me, <laughs> burp there. <laughs> <sighs> so we're gonna press up back to our plank position. <sighs> I'm gonna transition through my knees, but you could tuck your toes under <sighs> if you have a strong push up and press back up in one long line. <sighs> Next time you come up into the extension, I just want you to hold. Reach long through the crown of your head. Here for four, three, two. Pull your hands back so that they're planted under your shoulders. Knees down or tuck your toes under. And on the exhale, you're gonna push yourself up into a modified or full plank position. Eventually tucking your toes, lifting the knees. Okay, we do that whole thing one more time, then you are done. So let's start with that pike. Legs are straight, hips lift up and down. 
Now it's very hard not to rock your shoulders forward a little bit, especially when we're doing this on the floor instead of a machine, but I want as little rocking forward of the shoulders as possible. So think lift through the hips. So it might mean the range of motion is small. Okay, let's add in our push up. All right, so it's one pike, hips up and down, one push up. Three more. Last time. And this next push up takes you all the way down to a prone position. Untuck those toes and you can bring the legs about hips distance apart. Bring the hands forward so elbows are kind of in that goalpost position. So we're going to do that same lift, but this time we're going to lift the legs as well, okay? So first, engage your abdominal walls so that you're neutral through the pelvis. You're going to lift. Legs lift up, upper half lifts up. Retract those shoulder blades in, lower everything down. You lift. And lower. Think of reaching the legs long and staying engaged through the quads, and that's going to better help you fire through the glutes. That's a good tip, especially if you tend to be hamstring dominant. Think about squeezing the quads. Okay, this is it. Next time up, you're just gonna hold at the top. Legs reaching long, shoulder blades retracted. Breathe. Fire through those glutes, you're here for four, for three. Two, one, hands come under the shoulders, knees down. Press yourself back into a shell stretch, which is an active child's pose. So you're rounded and engaged through the core, just so that we get some spinal flexion to counter that extension. And then when you're ready, we can take it into a more passive child's pose. Knees can come wide, arms can walk forward, forward can come down to the floor. Few breaths here. Now coming up to a tabletop when you're ready, let's take a thread the needle stretch. So you're gonna take your left arm, you're gonna weave it under the right, bringing your cheek to the mat, and then you can walk your right arm forward. Whew. I don't know if it's because I did film another workout earlier today or what, but I am shaking like a leaf, or I was during the end of that workout. Walk your right hand back in, press through tabletop, take it to the other side, right weaves under left, and then walk the left forward. Walk your left hand in, come through center, and then immediately lower onto your forearms. We did this stretch earlier, but I just wanna take it again for the triceps. You're gonna to start to shift the hips back, and then you're going to walk the hands forward a little bit and then bend at the elbows, bringing the hands behind your back, either in prayer or like you're tapping yourself on the back, and keep shifting the hips back until you feel a nice stretch through the backs of the arms. And if you don't feel the stretch in this position, you might need to elevate your uh, elbows on like the edge of a chair or a bench so you can get a little deeper into it. When you're ready, straighten out those arms. Let's come to seated or kneeling and finish with one deep breath together. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale through center. Awesome work, that is your class.